Hi, my name is Matt Albright with the Lincoln Electric Company and today we're going to utilize PowerWave Manager to set up machine settings on a PowerWave supply. Today I'm working with the PowerFeed 25M suitcase style feeder and a PowerWave S350 power supply. Before we start working with the power supply, we need to get PowerWave Manager from PowerWaveSoftware.com. By going to that website and clicking on the PowerWave Utilities tab, you can download the free software bundle. Once you've downloaded the software bundle, connect your computer to the power supply utilizing an Ethernet cable. Accessing the program, you can make machine settings utilizing PowerWave Manager. Before you start, you have to connect to the power supply through the program. So what I'm going to do here, since I don't know the IP address of this machine, I'm going to select the box that says, I don't know the IP address. By refreshing the list, it'll generate all the IP addresses that you can access through the computer program. I'm going to select the machine that I'm connected to and then hit the connect button and it's going to access the information that's on the power supply. Now that I'm connected to the machine, I can see the tools that I have access to in order to configure machine settings. There are many things that you can do through this tool and I would recommend utilizing the user manual to get acquainted with all those options. Today we're going to primarily focus on user interface settings. So selecting the user interface tab brings me to immediately to these user preferences that I have access and the ability to change. Wire feed speed and units, I can look at English or metric, all the way down to whether I want to use a password or lock the machine completely out. I'm going to scroll down to the memory save lockout. By selecting yes, it disables the ability to overwrite memories. With the memory save lockout turned to yes, by going over to the machine and trying to overwrite a memory, we'll see that this option is no longer available to do. Coming back to the program, I can make a couple other changes. For instance, I can change the name of the program by going to memory settings. So if I have to set up a particular WPS, I can put in here WPS1 and save that as the program name for memory one. By coming over to the memory and pressing it again, as it reloads the memory, you see that it's changed the name from RapidArc Argon Mix to WPS1. This is a simple way to tell the operators what programs they should be using rather than having to familiarize themselves with the program definitions. Another great feature of this tool is that I can change machine settings from my desk if those machines are networked. So I'm going to go over to memory settings and I'm going to change the upper and lower limits of my wire feed speed. By selecting that icon, I can change the upper and lower limits. So I'm going to change these from 350 on the low end to 450 and from 450 on the top end to 550. By selecting OK, those values are now set up on the machine. Scrolling the wire feed speed dial, you'll now see that my top end is 550 inches a minute and my bottom end is 450 inches a minute. I can do the same thing for my trim value or voltage value. So I'm going to come in here and change my trim value from the bottom end of 0.5, so this would be initial setup. I don't want my operators to have the ability to use voltage settings that may or may not be adequate for their application. So I'm going to set this from 1.0 to 1.03. So going over to the machine, now I see that my bottom setting is 1.00 and my top trim setting is 1.03. This is a great tool that allows me to make changes to any machine that's connected to the Ethernet from my desk without having to walk out to each system and make those setting adjustments. PowerWave Manager is also the tool that you would utilize to set up your checkpoint account. Through this tool you would get the installation key file that's necessary in order to register machines to your account. So this tool is a flexible tool that helps you diagnose problems with the machine, customize machine settings, and customize your checkpoint account. For more information about PowerWave technology, go to lincolnelectric.com.